Hello friends, welcome to Programming Knowledge. In this video, we will see that what is the unique key constraint. Unique key is somehow related to primary key. Uh, whenever you want a particular column to have all the distinct or different values, and you do not want a column to contain duplicate values, then you can assign or add unique constraint to that particular column. The only key difference between primary key and unique key is that we only have one primary key per table and if you talk about unique key then there can be multiple unique key. So let us open MySQL workbench. Let me create one table. create table then name of the table example unique now first column is id integer and name worker the length is let's say 50 surname where k 50 also now let first assign primary key which will be our id Now, I have, oops, sorry, name. Now, I want name to be unique. I don't want duplicate names in that particular column. So, I assign unique, I write unique. Then, in brackets, I provide the name of the column. Okay let me fire it and refresh here here we have here columns let me see the structure of it okay this is the structure now I'm adding values in this table insert I have talked about all these SQL statement in our previous videos so if you uh, want to see this again then you can check out insert into the name of the table values id let's say one name surname and then i insert it let me see select star from Here you can see one record has been inserted now now I'm adding another record but this time ID will be unique because it's primary key and I try to insert the same name Smith and see what happens just use that insert into values let's say two here I change the surname to let's say start okay and see what insert into x unique values because i have applied unique key constraint in name it means that we cannot insert duplicate values in this column 
and hence we are uh, inserting a duplicate values smith smith name has already inserted into the table so it won't allow us to insert this second time so this is how you can use unique key constraint you can make unique key constraint as your primary key also because unique key column always contain distinct values thanks for watching